Allison Tisdale, daughter of real estate mogul Jonathan Tisdale. She's cute. She's dead. Do you ever meet her? Book signing? Charity event? It's possible. She's not my little black book, if that's what you're asking. What about this guy? Marvin Fisk, small claims lawyer. Most of my claims tend to be on the um, large side. So what's this got to do with me? Fisk was found murdered in his office two weeks ago. I didn't put it together until we saw the Tisdale crime scene tonight. Flowers for your grave. And this is how we found Marvin Fisk, right out of Hell Hath No Fury. Looks like I have a fan. Yeah, a really deranged fan. Oh, you don't look deranged to me. What? Hell Hath No Fury, angry Wiccans out for blood. Come on, <laughs> only hardcore castle groupies read that one. Do any of these groupies ever write you letters? Disturbing letters? Oh, all my fan mail is disturbing. It's an occupational hazard. Because sometimes in cases like this, we find that the killer, killer attempts, attempts to... to contact the subject of his obsession. I'm also pretty well versed in psychopathic methodologies. Another occupational hazard. And do you know you have gorgeous eyes? What are those? Castle's greatest hits. You're gonna familiarize yourselves with all of his murder scenes so we don't miss any. Got any on tape? <laughs> First victim, male, lawyer. Second victim, female social worker. Somewhere in these books, those two are connected. From the library of Catherine Beckett. Do you have a problem with reading, Ryan? Yo, check it, girl, you're totally a fan. Right, of the genre. Right, the, the genre, that's why you're blushing. What are you, 12? Profiling indicates a perp with low intelligence, someone who has or thinks he has a personal relationship with our author. So that's where we start. What? I work dead bodies all day. The last thing I want to do when I go home is read murder books. Aren't you curious? Curious? about how people can do these kinds of things to one another. Whoever did this read Castle's books and somewhere in those pages is the answer to where he'll strike next. I just came by to give you this. A little something to memorialize our brief partnership. Don't look so suspicious. Go on, open it. I got you an advanced copy. I even signed it to you. Not that you're a fan. Thanks. That's actually kind of sweet. Well. Well. It was nice to have met you, Detective Beckett. No hot date tonight? No, just the paperwork. One of the many reasons I'm glad I'm not actually a cop. Uh-huh. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. on page 105, by the way. What? That sex scene you're looking for. And Agent Grey was right. It's steamy. I wasn't. See you tomorrow. Dedication. Wow. Thank you. I meant it. You are extraordinary. 
All right, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Where are you going? It's early. I got plans. Oh, you have a date, don't you? No. You liar. Who's the unlucky guy? <laughs> yeah, right. See you guys in the morning. All right, see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Careful. Casey, okay, so who is it? I don't know. Got me. So she hasn't mentioned anyone? In case you haven't noticed, Beckett isn't exactly what you call a sharer. Why do you care? Anyway, Castle, do you have some unresolved feelings? Mm -hmm. For Beckett? Yeah. The woman hates con movies. Thank you.